How can a game thrive solely on boss battles? Moreover, how can two games thrive solely on boss battles and not feel all too similar? Well, both Titan Souls and Shadow of the Colossus can claim victory on this front, because sweetheart, these games are not here to mess around. In Titan Souls, your objective is simple. Kill the big guys for the big guys kill you. At first glance, it's a daunting challenge. Fast-paced gameplay, one-hit deaths, and terrifying beasts of all shapes and sizes. The catch is, these fools die in one hit as well. You just need to find that sweet spot. So that's pretty simple, right? Wait until the dude turns around or lands a certain way and you're golden. Though it's simple, it's not easy at all. These rascals are on you like there's no tomorrow. There are a few key things that are necessary for taking one down. Vigilance and focus are a must since the weak spot usually won't be facing you, so memorizing attack patterns and how to dodge them is imperative. Aimlessly shooting arrows won't get nothing done, son. This ties in with point two. One arrow means the shot is narrow. Being conservative with your attacks is highly important considering you either have to go get the arrow manually or with telepathy. To retrieve it with that big brain of yours, your character comes to a screeching halt. This is the perfect opportunity for a boss to come slamming down on you. Lastly, you gotta be conscious of where you're going. It's not uncommon for the boss to literally alter the playing field with slime, fire, and other junk. Oh, gross. It's a lot to juggle, but that's really the genius of it. What these battles boil down to are essentially mind games. It's based around having patience, being observant, memorizing, and acting at the right time. It's not about blind persistence, it's about being the quickest opponent you can be. That's what keeps the game so fresh throughout. Each time you find your newest prey, it's immediately time to figure out who they are, how they get down, and how you can use that to your advantage. After that, play dirty. Due to the obvious parallels between Titan Souls and Shadow of the Colossus, it wouldn't be totally out of line to assume Titan Souls is just a bogged down, pixely version. The lack of any context, the simplicity, and the whole only boss battles and exploration aspect are shared traits between the two games, but the actual fights are far from the same. If anything, the majority of gameplay in Shadow of the Colossus is more akin to a platformer. The fights usually start off similar to those in Titan Souls, where the player must observe their foe and find the right time to strike. But once the player mounts the Colossi, it becomes more of a test of finding the right footing and not falling off while waiting for the right moment to pierce the flesh of these magnificent beasts with your oh so glorious blade. The game blatantly gives the player markers of where to attack, only reinforcing the focus on player skill rather than player wit. Titan Souls, however, will often hide the area to go shooty shooty, and it's up to the player to use clues to determine how they'll reveal that spot. After that, it's all about getting just one shot in to claim victory. Looking deeper into these aspects of common gameplay is important because it can reveal elements working in tandem that may seem odd or unexpected, but end up working really well to create new experiences. Like, I hate puzzle games because they're boring and make me use my mind. But puzzle elements feel fun in Titan Souls because they're blended with tense action and end up feeling really rewarding. These two games may not share a whole lot in common gameplay-wise, but each game's bosses have multiple layers that the player needs to bypass to succeed, which is a whole lot more intricate than the old attack, dodge, attack, dodge, attack, dodge, attack. You, you get the idea. Inspiration is a great tool for creators of all kinds, because with the right amount, you can make something similar to the source material, but also crazy unique. And that's what's so cool about Titan Souls. Hey there! Thanks for not getting bored and leaving, it means quite a bit to me. If you happen to like this video, well, like it, it helps out more than you'd think. If you're up for it, tell me in the comments what games you think do boss battles in a fun or unique way. If you'd like to see more of my work in the future, subscribing is the best way to know when I upload something new.